Hi, and welcome to my extended review. Now, this week's extended review of technology is not a Microsoft Surface keyboard, although that looks like uh, an Apple keyboard. It's actually the Microsoft Surface keyboard, but that's not what I'm reviewing, nor am I reviewing desks and desk locks. Today, we are going to review a product that is a very interesting product. This is the Insta360. Uh, I suppose if I were really wise, I would have done the review on the Insta360, right? And you're doing a 360-degree review. Uh, I'll actually uh, take a video after the review is done, and I'll share it so you can see. Um, I've got a couple out on uh, YouTube now. I will share another one uh, showing the capabilities of this solution. So you'll notice it's, first of all, it's got a very durable case. It's waterproof. Um, it has lens protectors, which you need for a 360 in, in case of where you put it. You don't want to drop it. Um, it does have the uh, uh, dropper or somewhat resistant case. And then, as you can see, it is waterproof. So, you know, you can take it underwater. The cool thing about it is you can use it like this or you can use it like this or like this. And it doesn't make a difference because it takes 360 degree picture views, um, normally about a foot and a half. So about this far away from the camera, it's a 360 view. Uh, and again, I'll take a I'll take a 360 degree video to share uh, on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, standard buttons, standard locks. It's waterproof, right? So a waterproof camera has to have a lock system. Uh, and the lock system is what you use to, to, op to uh, avoid water getting into the system or the camera. So there are locks here. You can see the locks there. Uh, and then uh, you open it and you'll be able to move it. In this case, let's open up the easier one to open, um, which I just did. And you'll see there is the SD slot, which has an SD card or micro SD card in it. Uh, you close it and then you lock it in to place and it becomes a waterproof connection. So if you want to connect your camera to uh, USB, you know, you unlock that one. Or if you want to, you know, for whatever reason, take the battery out. Uh, people sometimes have multiple batteries. I, I don't currently, but uh, you can absolutely do that. And then on the other side, there are um, a couple of buttons. The first is the power button. And as you can see, it's going to power on here. Notice the light down there in the lower right-hand corner will flash. And now you can operate this as a completely standalone camera. You simply press the button and it will take a picture. Um, and it takes a 360 degree picture, 360 degree video, uh, which works very well. Uh, powers off very simply, right? Same structure, just one, two, three. And it shuts down with a little sound. The, the nice thing about cameras like this is they do let you know when they're shutting down with the sound. Um, and as I said, it's waterproof, so you've got the sealed, the sealed uh, uh, compartments so that you can uh, easily get at them or use them. Uh, and you know, like this one is is whoop, this one is now locked. Uh, and then you open both of these to take the battery out. This one I already showed you the micro SD card, and then the last one is the USB ports, right? So that's. Uh, for charging of the system. The battery is integrated into the camera. You don't have to add it or change it. Ease, uh, di you know, it's not hard to do if you wish to have multiple batteries. Most of the people I know using these only have one. Um, it's comparable to the GoPro. Um, I think it's a little easier than the GoPro Hero that I have uh, to hold. Uh, the GoPro that I have is a little uh, wider uh, and not as easy. And this one's very nice. And then, of course, this one also comes, as you can see. I actually should be very careful about putting these things so you can actually see them. It does include a selfie stick. Now, I've been using a different selfie stick, and I will talk about that in another extended review. But um, the selfie stick makes a huge difference when you're using a 360 camera. Anyway, today's extended review, the Insta360 camera.